How do you? My name's Anna. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, on my channel, I like to talk about makeup mostly um, and decorating oneself. And today I just wanted to share really quickly. Um, I went to Ulta for the first time in, in a little in a little while. Um, and I actually made like a sizable color pop purchase. I don't know when I'm posting this if that's still gonna be the case, but it uh color pop was buy one get one 50% off. So um kind of that works out to 25% off, but kind of not because they give you 50% off of the lesser value. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you what I got. I'm pretty excited. Um, I'll save the best for last because it was the reason that this purchase happened. Um, I've been on kind of a low buy and so this felt like a big deal, but I will say everything that I got today, I have eight items here, eight items from ColourPop. Everything in here was, I think I paid like $62 total. So that feels like a good deal to me. That feels like a good deal to me. That is less than a Natasha Denona midi eyeshadow palette. So um, not that I don't think they're worth it, <laughs> but Anyway, um, I just want to show you what I got. So, um, I picked up, I wanted to try and I've never tried and I actually, this was kind of, I have a video. Um, I mean, I want to do a full face of ColourPop, um, and I needed some things to complete, um, that. So that'll be coming. But anyways, uh, this is the brow pencil. Um, and I got the color taupe. I tend to like taupe eyeshadow products. They tend to be pretty neutral, like not too warm, not too cool. And they tend to be sort of light enough. Like this is a taupe shade that I'm wearing today. And I think it matches my hair very, it's like I have taupe colored hair. <laughs> By the way, my husband uh, told me today that taupe is the word for a mole in French. And so I'm gonna put a little, a little taupe up here. Um, so cute. Anyway. Um, so I'm hoping that this shade will work for me. I have never tried an eye pencil from ColourPop. I mean, it's hard to tell, but, uh, yeah, comes with a little spoolie. It looks very thin, which is nice. So cool. And then, um, I grabbed their... Party Proof Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using the same like eye primer forever, so I thought I would try a new one. And um, this has like a wand. It's weird, like it seems like there's not a lot of product on that. And so I'm like, why don't they just make the tube smaller? Maybe it's so the wand can be like, anyway, whatever. Um, it looks like it does have a little bit of a pigment to it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm very curious. Actually, I'm just going to put that on my hand. Oh, yeah. It kind of fades into nothing, actually. Um, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that. It was... I can't even find it in the... So, it is very clear. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Curious. Curious. Also, to use this with um, ColourPop eyeshadow. Because, you know, it's kind of the thing. Um, next in here, I have the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Primer. And I've been using um, this, like, Wet n' Wild primer that I think might be sort of similar. Um, I don't know why. It's like I've been liking, basically, I've been liking how it is hydrating and how it makes me look alive and healthy. Um, I used to use a mattifying primer and where I like that it sort of blurs my skin, I think I like the look of the more like, I'm not going to say dewy because I don't, well, I guess it does look, I have a lot of highlighter on today. This was my very whimsical, um, uh, Odin's eye look, but, um, uh, which I will be posting, uh, later on. I think, I think this video is going to go up before that one. But, um, okay, so this is that primer and it's supposed to be very hydrating is my point. And yeah, it feels very much like a moisturizer. Um, 
and it definitely added some sheen. Um, I didn't really get it rubbed in very well though. It's still looking, ooh, it does have a little bit of a scent, which I don't love. Hmm, interesting, okay. It's a little bit coconutty, which I don't, I don't love. I don't, I don't love that. We'll see. We'll see how that does on my face, near my nose. Um, okay, so that is the primer. And then um, I got a concealer. Uh, it's a creamy, yeah, hyaluronic creamy concealer. So I'm just going to hydrate my face with makeup. Um, hopefully this isn't going to be too light. I did like a shade comparison thing with my favorite NARS um, concealer, which is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in uh, Cafe Con Leche. And that's it. I think that's probably going to be pretty good. Um, it's 45 warm. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully. Also, I thought I'd try their pressed powder. Um, it's cheap. It was $14. The Charlotte Tilbury one that I like is 20, no, 50. 50? 48? I don't remember. I might be way off. It's not 14. Um, it comes with a little puff that I will never use. I don't use these. Um, I feel like there's germ factories. I don't know. I'm afraid of them. Um, and I don't really ever bring powder with me during the day, usually. But anyways, um, I got the very fairest shade. They didn't have um, two, which might have worked for me. This is one. I'm hoping it's not too light, but I'm hoping there's not much pigment to it. But they did come in a range, so I'm not sure. We'll have to see. So I'm curious to try that. I've been kind of looking for... It's funny, I did a video a while back that was like the brands... If I could only use 10 brands for the rest of my life, you know, like what would they be? And so I, I realized that the only thing that I like really have to have from Charlotte Tilbury is that finishing powder. And so I was like, well, what if I can find another powder from another brand that also has to be on my list, which ColourPop does because I love the creme gel liners. Um, I do not like the smell of this. I'm a little disappointed by that. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Ugh. Why? Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I might have to bail on that. Okay. Um, the next thing that I got, I already took it out. It's the, um, as I was being dramatic about the primer scent. Uh, this is, this is a super shock highlighter. Y'all, I've never tried one of these. I'm not sure how that's possible, but um, this is the one that I thought would go best. Maybe it was between this and one other, and I hope I've made the right decision um, with the eyeshadow palette that I got. Um, this one is called Smoke and Whistles. <laughs> I've had Super Shock shadows in the past, and they went bad. They dried out. Um, ooh. Whoa. Okay, good. I was a little worried this was going to be too deep for me, but I don't think it will. Um, but let's see. Ooh, that is very shiny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fun. Wow. My goodness. Okay. That doesn't have a smell. It has like a makeup-y smell, but, um, oof, this is wild. Oh, I don't think that's going to dissipate enough for my taste. I can't get over it. Disappointed. Disappointed. It's fine. Um, everything else I'm feeling good about. Um, so, <laughs> so if we're seven for eight, like, that's great. And since it was like a buy one, get one half price, I think I paid, you know, $5 for this. Anyways, the, uh, sort of star of the show, in my opinion, um, actually that super shock shadow was fun or, uh, highlighter was fun, but, um, 
I picked up the So Elemental palette. Um, I, I saw this and I was like, yes, like, yes. And then I heard that this was more blue, um, than it even like kind of looked, um, like on the eyes. So here we are. That's what she looks like, folks. It's very different from what I'm wearing today. <laughs> okay. I have to go wash my hand because I can't, I can't take that smell. I can't do it. Okay, so um, your girl didn't do her research. I just looked it up and actually the um, the hyaluronic acid primer that I got was, it does have a fragrance in it. Cause it does have coconut water in it and I'm fine with coconut water, but I would put my money on there is a synthetic coconut fragrance in there. Um, anyways, the other primer that they have, which is like a matte primer, um, I think I'm just gonna exchange it for that. Cause that one looked like it didn't have a fragrance in it. So anyway, I just wanted to, to mention that um in case any of y'all are sensitive and um i will be updating you on all of this in my next uh color pop video okay <laughs> okay crisis averted <laughs> i think i might survive <laughs> oh i'm so dramatic but it does make me nauseous like gives me a headache um it can give me a sore throat it just depends on the fragrance as to what malady i end up with but um yeah i'm sensitive and that's that's okay that's who I am. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to have to, I can't use this, unfortunately, because if it's just on my hand and I can't take it on my face, it's not going to work. So that was a fail already. Um, anyway, um, let's look at this palette, uh, one more time now that I'm not smelling coconut. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to try this. I will do, like I said, I want to do a, like a full face of ColourPop was sort of what made this haul happen. But yeah, I am so excited to try this. It just looks so beautiful. Even my husband, you know, I'll show him like, oh, I love this. I love that. I love this. I love that. And, um, this one, he's like, oh, I like that one. So, um, and that's definitely not the case for every palette that I show him. <laughs> he's such a good sport so supportive. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, did you pick this up? It's pretty. All right. Uh, that is, that is the video. Very short and sweet little Ulta haul. Oh no, no. Let's go into the prices. So yeah, eight products, seven of which I'm gonna, um, use and, oh, you know what? Yeah. Everything was separate. I had to actually do four different orders. It's kind of a long story. I had to go to two different Ultas for this. Um, I know, I know. They were the two closest to my house and I do live in a fairly big city. So <laughs> it wasn't like that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I did, I did do that. I admit that I did that. Um, but it was fun. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, but yeah, I think the total with everything, cause it was buy one, get one 50% off and I did it in four separate orders so that I could do like the more expensive ones together. You know what I mean? Like I paid like $14 for this. And so then I got like whatever, there was something that was $12. Um, so I got that half price rather than like an $8 thing for half price. So it's like I saved $2, probably saved like eight more dollars doing that. Um, and then I had a three fifty coupon. So $62 for eight products comes to, what did I say? 725 per thing. If you like equal it out, um, which I don't think, I don't think it's too bad. You know, that's like drugstore price. Oh, I forgot about a thing. I have one more thing here. Wow. I'm all over the place. Y'all, um, probably need a snack <laughs> or a nap. I don't take naps. Um, but yeah, I, I got the BFF um, mascara in brown. Uh, if you've been here a while, you know that I've been looking for a brown mascara and I was like, why not just try the ColourPop? I had some, uh, this is the shade that it is. I think that's gonna be lovely. Um, I like the wand too. Like I like these big fat wands. Um, I had a BFF, a couple um, of the colored, um, the like brightly colored mascaras a while back, like a purple one and a blue one. And I liked them. 
So I thought they reformulated this, I believe. Packaging, I think, is different. Anyway, I think they reformulated it since. This was a couple of years ago. And um, this was, what, eight or nine dollars. Um, and I thought, why not, why not try the ColourPop? If I like the eight or nine dollar ColourPop one, like, why spend 20 something for, um, you know, a fancy mascara. So now I am done with the video. Um, that was, that was all of, all of the things. Um, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all of your kind comments and, um, I love when you share with me, you know, um, your favorite products or, you know, what, you know, your hauls. If the sale is still going on, I mean, buy one, get one 50% off. Like I said, um, if you're strategic about it, uh, it kind of comes out to about 25% off. So yeah, watch me. I'm, I'm, I just spent $62 at Ulta and got 25% off basically during the Sephora sale. <laughs> Uh, where I could have gotten 15% off. Not that they sell ColourPop. I don't know. I'm, I don't, I don't know why I'm so down on the Sephora sale right now. I like Sephora. I think I'm just salty that, um, I'm not rouge, but also I'm proud of myself for not spending a thousand dollars last year, but also, I don't know. It's not that big a deal. It's just makeup. It's fun. I hope you're having a good day and thanks again for being here and I will hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way if we keep on the sunny side alive.